It's incredible what some people can endure, and I don't mean in the deer woods, rather in life in general. And in November of 2013, we were so fortunate to be introduced to an incredible young lady who had not only endured, but overcome so much more than any one person should see in their entire life. That girl is one Miss Stephanie Hurd, a girl in love with the outdoors since birth, brimming with life and laughter, the kind of person who makes everyone's day around her brighter just by being there. However, at the tender age of just 24, while she was still celebrating the birth of her son, her family was dealt a terrible blow when her father was diagnosed with cancer. And then just two weeks later, the unthinkable, an enemy took a direct shot at that life that Stephanie was so full of in the form of her own diagnosis, that she herself had an aggressive form of breast cancer. Anyone who has not been there, myself included, could ever understand how you would take that news, how you'd process that and how you'd react. But I can share with you how our friend Stephanie faces such a thing. No sorrow, no self-pity, rather she reacted like a warrior, destined to beat cancer so badly that it would think that it came face to face with a real life superhero. She simply refused, refused to let cancer win, or even chip away at her positivity. She made the decision to be stronger than the cancer, and to be a real life superhero by taking it one step further and documenting her fight as an inspiration and motivation for others in similar situations. I am going to hunt cancer down and I'm going to kill it. That's all there is to it. And then when I'm done with it, I might even just put it on my wall because that is a monster of a beast to kill and worth all of it. Some very nice ladies are going to give me a ride in a $3.8 million piece of equipment and I thought I'd show it to you guys. That right there. And that is what it's like to be Steph Strong. Against all odds, Stephanie did what was not likely possible. And after chemotherapy and over a dozen surgeries, she had beat cancer and was ready to return to normal life, or at least as normal as life could be after what she'd been through. But like most stories, the end isn't when you'd expect it. And at a routine checkup only a couple of short years later, there was a suspicion that was later confirmed and cancer was back. This was when we learned about Stephanie's incredible story and her incredible strength. And we wanted to do something, anything to help. And we settled on helping through what we know best deer hunting, to help raise spirits and as importantly to raise dollars to help Stephanie and her ever mounting medical expenses as she battled cancer. We did what we had never done before and offered to take someone on a fully guided hunt with us for their very own dream buck and Jason Peterson and I would personally film it for the television show. We did it through an online auction that received hundreds of generous bids. Through this process we had our own heroes emerge in the form of two selfless caring and giving people by the name of Mason Berger and Jason King buying the hunts for several times the sticker value. Mason from Oklahoma, USA, an outdoorsman and a hunter, had just added being a hero to his resume. As did Jason from Red Deer, Canada, two people so giving and selfless that it renews faith in humanity for all those that know what they did buying that hunt to help Stephanie. We're probably in the most remote whitetail stand in entire Canada. I've got to be positive of it. But we'll see, there's a cool box, there's a couple cool bucks here. Once there's a picture of the lawn last night, there's one deer with big, big brow giants that try to get a look at. There was no doubt that this time she was going to shoot. She was ready and the cameras were rolling. Well, there's your brow time buck. There's my brow time buck. Look at the brow times on him. Oh, his big body too. Oh, beauty. Oh, great. Dark horn, huge brow times, eh? Yes. The one on that side's gonna be 10 inches. What an experience. I mean, it's snowing 1,600 miles away from home or better. And this is what I get to come home with. It's like a, it's a dream come true. There's something about them that I 
really, really liked, and it was the brow tines. I mean, what a unique experience to be up here hunting. And at Hunt and Hook, it was just, I mean, this is an awesome place. I want to come back for sure, hands down. What an awesome buck. Well, congratulations, Stephanie. Well, thank you. And thanks for being my camera guy. That's what I love to do. Words cannot describe the overwhelming feeling of gratitude that we had, that for a change, Stephanie got what she so deserved, that buck of her dreams, that deer that she had traveled over 1,600 miles to northern Saskatchewan to hunt. But this was so much more than a hunt, and it's far from over. So please tune in next week for part two of our superhero exclusive, featuring Mason and Jason's hunts, where Stephanie finds herself standing in as Mason's very own camera girl. We'll see you next week. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors.